Hello friends, this is Tarun Kumar Das working in Kendra Vidyalaya Korapuch welcomes all of you for today's mathematics class. And today's topic is rotational symmetry. And this topic comes under the chapter, does it look the same of class five mathematics? So now let us study about the rotational symmetry in the video. And I would like to request everyone Please watch this video up to the end so that you can understand it in a better way and you can find out and solve the questions given here. Before completing the lesson, let us find out what we are going to achieve after the lesson. The objectives are number one, understand the term rotational symmetry, number two, define the term rotational symmetry. And number three, find out the objects show rotational symmetry. So my dear friends, let's learn the rotational symmetry. Now I would like to tell you a story about the king and the locker. Here is the king and this is his locker. So what happened, once there was a king, he had kept all his jewels in his locker. He was upset because thieves kept stealing costly jewels from his locker. The king was, the king was thinking, how do the thieves steal from my locker? The locker could be opened by giving its handle half a turn, another half turn and the locker would be locked again. This is the way the locker is being opened. But the open and the locked situation, both of the cases, the locker looks the same. The king would often leave the locker open, thinking it was locked. The reason was that the locker was looking same at open and locked position. One day his clever daughter gave him an idea, which he liked very much. Now, he never got confused. The king's daughter asked him to put a dot on one of the yellow blades. Now, she put a dot in one of the yellow blades. Here, Sorry, the locker the is object. in open situation. Now, let's turn the locker half a turn and you will get the locker comes as locked position. Then the king never got confused and the thieves could not steal his jewels. And this is only possible by giving the dot. When the dot was in upper position, it was open. When the dot comes to the lower position, it is treated as locked. All this confusion, you know, the confusion is due to rotational symmetry. So, now look at this rectangle. Let's draw the lines of symmetry. Here the lines of symmetry. And this is the point where all the lines of symmetry join together. This rectangle can be rotated about a fixed point P. This fixed point P is called center of rotation. Now, let's rotate the rectangle along the fixed point P. After rotating the rectangle, it looks same. This type of rotation or turning a figure is called as rotational symmetry. Now, let's take another example. Let it be a hexagon. Let's rotate this hexagon a half a turn. Here you can see A is the upper portion and B at the lower portion. Now we are going to rotate this hexagon half a turn. Yes, when this hexagon rotated half a turn, the A portion, point A came to down and point B moved to up, but the hexagon remained same. This type of rotation 
or turning a figure is called as rotational symmetry. As an object turns or rotates, it either looks the same in various positions or it looks different. If it looks the same in some or all of the positions, it has rotational symmetry. Objects, letters, numbers and shapes can all have rotational symmetry. Rotational symmetry in nature. Here you can see a flower. And these are the lines of symmetry of the flower. Now let's rotate the flower along its axis. Next you will catch the flower looks same. Here is another flower. And let's draw the lines of symmetry of the flower. Now rotate the flower along its axis. You will get the same flower. You cannot get any difference in the flower before rotation and after rotation. The flower looks exactly the same as it was looking before rotation. Now here is an animal you can find in the sea. It is a starfish. Now let's draw the lines of symmetry along its the starfish and let's rotate it. If you will rotate this one, the starfish also will look like same. In nature, many flowers and objects show rotational symmetry. Let's find out which of the following objects show rotational symmetry. Here are six objects. Let us find out which of the objects show rotational symmetry and which are not. The first figure is a flower and when you rotated it at an angle, you can say here rotated quarter, 1 by 4, 10, then the flower was not looking like as it was looking previously. Now let's rotate it again half a turn. Then also the flower no, is not looking same as it was looking previously. So the flower is not for showing any rotational symmetry. Next we will come for the second figure. Now turn the second figure half a turn. You will get the figure looking upside down but it is not looking same as it was looking previously. So this also doesn't show any kind of rotational symmetry. Next we'll go for the third one. This is the butterfly. Let's rotate it anti-clockwise. And a half turn. Then you will also get the butterfly but it is inverted. It is not looking same as it was looking previously. So it doesn't show any rotational symmetry. Next we'll go for the another figure you can see here the colorful and let's rotate it along its axis and you will get the same figure and it is looking exactly as it was as it was looking previously so it shows rotational symmetry now you can find out the next figure it is written here north east south west and you can rotate it clockwise through half one by four turn then what is the change you can find out here n comes to the e position e comes to the s position s goes to the west w position and w goes to e position but the figure looks exactly same as it was looking previously so it shows rotational symmetry now let's come for another figure and this figure you can find out here one two three four four pigeons are the, four birds are there and let's have the rotation. After rotating this figure having the four birds look exactly same as it was looking previously. So this also shows rotational symmetry. Now my dear friends let's find out which of the following alphabets show rotational symmetry. Here the alphabets are A, B, C, R, N, F, G, H, O, J, T, Z. Let's rotate the figures and find out 
which of the alphabets show rotational symmetry and which of the alphabets do not show any kind of rotational symmetry. First of all, let's rotate A. When you turn it 1 by 4 turn, the A is not looking same as it was looking previously. Then P got half a rotation. Then C got its 1 by 4 rotation. Then R got its half a turn. N got half turn. F 1 by 4 turn. G 1 by 4 turn. H half turn. O half turn. J 1 by 4 turn. T half turn. And Z it's also half turn. Now you can find out which of the alphabets are looking same and which of the alphabets are not looking same. So here A is not looking same, then P is also not looking same. Then here you can see find out C, R, they are not looking same, but N, N looks same as it was looking previously. So N shows rotational symmetry, but F doesn't show any kind of rotational symmetry. G doesn't show any kind of rotational symmetry, but H show rotational symmetry as well as O. Next, J doesn't show any kind of rotational symmetry and T also doesn't show any kind of rotational symmetry, but Z shows rotational symmetry. So here we got N, H, O and Z show rotational symmetry, whereas the other alphabets given here do not show any kind of rotational symmetry. You can find out by taking other alphabets, what are, what are the alphabets not given here, you can turn them and you can find out whether they show rotational symmetry or not. Next, you can also take some of the numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. You can take these digits and you can turn them either 1 by 4 turn or a half turn or 3 by 4 turn. But I'm sure some of the some of the cases you will get the rotational symmetry, but in some of the cases you cannot find out the rotational symmetry. So this is up to you. You have to do practice, my dear friends, because if you do more practice, then you can find out about the rotational symmetry. If you like this video. Please subscribe my channel YouTube Tarun Kumar Dash. And if you want some more educational content, then you can follow me at https tarunkumardash.blogspot.com. This website contains almost all the worksheets as well as some quizzes regarding the mathematics, English, EVS, like this. You can find out, download, and because all these things are totally absolutely free for you so my dear friends thank you for watching and next time i will come back with a new video for you thank you